Hello, in this tutorial I'd like to go through the process of creating a vertical menu using fireworks to be used uh, in a Dreamweaver template. So you can see here I've pulled up a little sample little template um, and when this one was this this layout was designed it was designed in fireworks with these buttons across the top. Uh, but let's say you also want buttons down this left side, sort of a left navigation bar over here um, either to replace this menu across the top or in addition to. So uh, that's what we're going to create here. So first I just want to get an idea of how much space I have available over here. So I'm going to click right inside this left column. And when I do that I can see down here at the bottom that there is a width value of 116. Um, so I'm going to use that kind of as a control. I think there's also some padding here. So there's padding of 15. So I would guess I can make buttons somewhere in the range of about 90 pixels wide uh, will fit nicely in there. Uh, and if that's not big enough, I'll go and change the uh, padding for that uh, column or for that cell. All right, so I'm going to start off over in Fireworks. And I'm going to create a new Fireworks document here. <clears throat> And um, when this comes up, I'm going to make a canvas that's uh, not too big, maybe 200 uh, by 300. Should give us plenty of room to work. And we'll trim that down uh, when it uh, when we're when we're finished making the buttons to make sure it's the right size. Also, I'm going to have the canvas color white. And the reason for that is these buttons are going to sit on a white background here um, back in Dreamweaver. Okay. So I'm just going to say OK. <clears throat> now, um, there's two ways to start here. I could either start by designing the um, button right here on the canvas and then convert that object, that vector object, into a, um, a library item. Or I could just go right to my document library, which that's what I'm going to do. And If that document library isn't available over here in this left panel, uh, you can go to Window and look down on this list and find that document library to get it turned on. Alright, so in that document library window down in the lower uh, lower corner of it kind of, there's a button here for making a new symbol. So I've clicked on that. I'm going to just name this. So I'm going to name this my left nav and it needs to be a button. And I'm going to say OK. So when I do that, a new canvas opens up uh, and this canvas has a cross here in the middle of it. That's kind of how I know I'm inside of the library. And if I look up here in the upper left hand corner, I can see I'm inside this left nav um, library item or symbol. And if I want to go back to my main canvas, which is called page one, I can click page one there or use this arrow. And that takes me back out to my main canvas. And I can see I've created this. Um, symbol over here in the library item and I just double click on it to get back into it. So you can see that crosshair there and I'm inside the left nav. So here's where I'm going to design this button. Um, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time here uh, making a really fancy button. Uh, I'm just going to uh, make a really standard one so you get the idea of the process. Okay, So I've picked up the rectangle tool and I can see I have a background color and a, a stroke color. So I'm going to drag out that rectangle. Uh, and I'm not worried too much about um, uh, the color of it right now. What I'm mostly concerned about is the size. So I'm going to make this 900, uh, 90 pixels, I don't know, by about 15 or so. So a nice little narrow button. And it needs to be over that crosshair. So I'm just clicking and dragging so it's on top of the crosshair. OK, then I need a little bit of text in here, or really just a text box or a placeholder. Um, and so I pick up the text tool and I'm just looking at its properties. I think I'm going to just make this text black right now. And then I'll click here and a text box will start. Um, and I'm going to type in a little bit of text. All right. So um, if I was, uh, if this was going to be a real set of buttons on a real website, then I would used the labels for this navigation that it already had uh, determined. But in this case, I'm just going to use some placeholder text. So I'm just writing label goes here and then I'm just dragging it up to get it centered there uh, <clears throat> on top of that button. Now if I select both of those 
and go to the modify menu I can have fireworks make sure they're centered uh, to a vertical line and modify align and center horizontally so they're right on top of each other now sometimes when you do that it looks a little bit off to me so I'm going to just use my arrow keys to move it down a tiny bit to make it look a little bit more um, like I want it to okay so now I, that's my button now this is by default the up state of the button so what the button's going to look like when it's just sitting on the canvas or sitting on your website without any mouse interact action and I can see down here that it, the state is the up state so if I want a rollover effect I need to create another version of this button um, on the over state so I'm going to just open this up and go to the over state and because I don't I only want to make a subtle change I'm going to copy up the up graphic and then I think we'll just change this text color to yellow and then change the fill color to a dark dark gray and we'll see how that looks um, not quite sure that might need to be white let's see what that looks like white it's a little hard it's gonna be a little hard to read either way okay so now I've got my basic button created okay it's got an over state and it's got an up state so with that done that's basically my template or the symbol that I'm using to create the rest of the buttons so go back to page one and I still got the blank main canvas out there but now inside of the document library here's this one symbol called left nav which has my button inside of it so all I need to do is direct, click and drag out copies of this button or instances of this symbol onto the canvas and you can see it looks sort of funny you get these red lines and this green film over the button that is the automatic slicing that is happening that fireworks is doing because it fireworks knows that it when I'm finished here um, I'm gonna I need to take this out and uh, put it into Dreamweaver and it has to be uh, cut up into individual graphics um, with some HTML and some JavaScript to go with it so it's just preparing um, to do that so let's say I drag out a couple now I'm just carefully dragging these and they're stacking up on each other so if I wanted them flush like that then I do need to um, uh, s stack them right next to each other okay so now they're all exactly the same uh, except uh, the only thing I want to be different here is what the label says so if I click on this slice or this first button and go down to the property bar you can see there is the text so this might be label number one and I'm just going to quickly um, type these in what label will go on here um, again you'd want these the text that goes here already figured out by this point um, uh, just to make sure that your buttons are and your font size are such that uh, the text fits you can see I can't really talk and type at the same time okay one more to go and you'll get the idea okay now at any time if I don't like how these buttons look I can always go back into my document library into that symbol make a change there and that change will be reflected on all five of these buttons that are out here on the canvas <clears throat> so I'm back on my main canvas just to remind you and uh, lots of extra white space around here so now if I just click this fit canvas button uh, all that extra space gets cut off and now I have my set of five buttons it'd be nice to see what they look like without these slices on top of them and see how the rollover looks so if I go here to the preview mode I can get a little preview of just rolling over these okay um, alright so with that we're about done I do notice that um, the format that these are set to get exported in is is GIF Web 216 that's just left over from something else I was working on so I'm going to switch that um, to Web Adaptive 256 so that'll give me the nicest uh, the nicest looking GIFs okay alright so those are going to be okay now they look a little fuzzy because I'm zoomed way in but if I zoom out to 100% um, um, they look like they'll be just right or just fine um, so I'm in preview mode I can um, check it out that one I didn't quite type correctly um, now I cannot just so you know I cannot whoops 
let's just see um, once I get into Dreamweaver I'm not able to um, change this text because this text is uh, as graphic uh, it's going to become a graphic so if I need to change I need to change it here okay with that much I'm just going to do a file save and that will give me a um, a PNG copy of this. Just one sec, I gotta find out where this root folder is. Okay, desktop stuff, Tim's root, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go to desktop. <clears throat> oh, go to Tim maybe. Desktop. Right, now I've forgotten already where that was. Let's try that again. Okay. Oh, Tim Documents. All right, so it's in the Documents folder. Documents, desktop stuff, and Tim's root. Okay, so I'm going to save this PNG file um, in here first. So this is my left nav. I can put right in my Masters folder. That's just so if I need to come back and make changes, um, that's the file that I'd go to make changes on. All right, then I'm going to do File Export. And I want to make sure that it's including areas with out slices and that this selected slices only box, which is grayed out here, is not checked. I need to make sure this stuff goes into the same place or at least into the website uh, that I want to use these on. Okay, so Tim's root and into images here. I'm going to make a new folder and call it uh, left nav no spaces here in the folder name or the file name okay everything else looks good that's the default export okay now back to Dreamweaver and I'm on the template and I would like these buttons to go right into there okay so I don't need that placeholder text anymore I'm gonna click inside there and go to insert image objects and fireworks HTML now I'm gonna browse to the place that I just exported those to Okay, so that was in my documents folder and desktop stuff and Tim's root and in images and you can see there's my left nav folder there's all the pieces sliced up and what I'm looking for is this htm file because um, that puts all the buttons back together and say open and okay alright it comes in okay so there are that are those those sets of buttons now um, I put it inside this editable region and uh, if I save this now Dreamweaver would not send those buttons out to all the pages. Uh, if I wanted them out to all the pages I would need to not put them inside this editable region um, and so I'm just going to copy all that stuff click outside and paste and I might as well delete this stuff out of there. Okay. All right. So I'm not sure I did that right, but you get the idea. Um, uh, now I just would need to link these up. So select the button and come down to the link field in the property bar and I could use this pointer to link to the specific HTML pages I wanted the, my visitors see, to see when they clicked on those buttons. Now I'm not sure if those are the right size, but at least I have a um, an idea of what I need to do in there. Or if they are the right size, I might want to center them inside of that column. Um, and that just is by clicking inside the column, horizontal, center, um, and I uh, probably need to preview in the browser and check my widths a little bit. Anyway, with that, um, that is how you get vertical a vertical navigation bar created in Fireworks onto a template in Dreamweaver. Thanks for listening.